In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct a test between two means of different groups using R and RStudio. I have uploaded the R code so you can download it and you can find a link below, as well as an entire playlist on t-tests, which I'd encourage you to watch. I'm going to show you how to set up the R code, as well as how to interpret the results. Doing this by hand is cumbersome to say the least. I use a relatively simple set of data, which is the same set of data where I show you how to do this by hand. I'm using two different groups, a hormone treatment and a placebo controller test. We load the data into two vectors or two tables, hormone and placebo. Then the command to actually conduct the t-test is relatively simple. The default confidence level is 95%. I've included the R code so you can just cut and paste into your own R studio. You simply highlight the rows four and five, the hormone and placebo tables, and hit run. They load up the data into the tables or the vector. Now I actually highlight row number eight and I'm loading the results into another table and hit run. Then I want to display the table I just created. And bada bing, you should always say bada bing, by the way. R Studio or R generates some output. It looks like this, but what's really important is this the top row of that data. You typically write your t test results like this the 3.14 is the actual t test score, 18 is the degrees of freedom, and what you're really concerned about is the p value. In this case, p value is less than 0 0.05, which is good. This means the results were not by luck or random chance. Now, if you want to do a one tail test, you set it up slightly different, and I included the R code for the one tail test greater than and one tail test less than. The results look very similar to a two tail test, but the only thing you really care about is that top row. When you compare the two p values for a one tail test versus a two tail test, you notice that the p-value for a one-tail test is exactly half that of a two-tail test. I've included the commands for a one-tail and two-tail test in the R code. Don't forget to share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. All sorts of links below. Don't forget to subscribe. I've been adding a lot of videos for R and R Studio lately, so make sure you check them out.